Did you ever think that you'd be a teacher of children? No. No, not. Uh, I just love playing. I just kept on saying I just want to play. Mm -hmm. But um, God bringing, is it maybe a destiny helper? Or I don't know. Yeah, that's your Because neighbor. this lady, mm -hmm. the neighbor, took me where God wanted me to be. Yes. And God did not want me to be in those high-end places. That is the place she, mm -hmm. she, he wanted me to be. And once I was there, to this day, mm -hmm. that is the place I go to every day. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And I, I just amazing. got a group of amazing kids, wonderful kids, with all their challenges, mm -hmm. playing very good tennis. But it's been years of God's grace. Wow. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. That is so wonderful to hear. And I like what you said, that, <laughs> that time when you were thinking about picking the ball from the sewers, mm -hmm. you saw the talent and a light just went off in your heart. Yeah. That is how you know where your calling is. Yes. So in this foundation, have you ever worked with a church? No, 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 no. Okay, do you for focus? The tennis, for the tennis, no. Maybe, maybe uh, my target was mostly schools. Okay. That was my first, uh, that was my approach, uh -huh. that I get schools mm -hmm. near the slum, that I may be able to give those children a chance to a platform, mm -hmm. just to or nurture talent, keep them busy. Just how can they uh, alleviate poverty? How can I use these children that this poverty comes out of? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why I target mostly uh, the schools. I never thought about the church, come to think of it. I never thought about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. But as you're mentoring these kids, do you ever share the gospel with them? I do. When I met them, mm -hmm. the first thing was to pray. Uh -huh. And there was a resistance. I said them that for me, my life has been praying, mm -hmm. and I will teach you the God that I know. Mm -hmm. So I'd make sure that uh, we pray before a session, pray after a session, mm -hmm. and I'd always fight with them Sundays, because I'd always say every time we meet Ulienda Church, mm -hmm. then of course they're hiding, they're hiding. Then I'm like, look, it is important to go to church. Because the reason why I'm here today mm -hmm. is because of God. Yeah. So it's one of the things, and the word, uh, every single time I used to talk to them about Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I would also, because sometimes you're told, oh, maybe your organization is only for Christians. I say, no, I allow every child to come. So if uh, there's a, a kid who's Muslim, you, you, you tell them, where do you guys go to? You know, because you don't look like you're trying to, to remove the child from where they are. You don't want that kind of a, a conflict. Mm -hmm. But for me, that was the direction. We pray, you must go to church, and you must tell me what the pastor said. Mm -hmm. So those who are at least afraid, they would not come for the session, and I'd be told, coach Nivilaku and the church in Otaulisa. So for me, Jesus was number one. Okay. Yes. Okay, interesting. Yes, interesting. and he's still number one. Uh -huh. Yes. Amazing, amazing. But the, where, the church where you go to, they know what you do? Yes. Do they support you? Do they applaud you? No, they support me. Mm -hmm. My spiritual father, Pastor Fred Geke, mm -hmm. really supports me. They know what I've been doing for years. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. So I'm wondering, mm -hmm. is it possible to tell, to take us through how the, the first lesson, assuming we are kids who are interested in tennis, <laughs> what is the first thing that we need to, to learn? The, the first thing is normally, first of all, you have to give the child a good environment, mm -hmm. smile at them, ask them if they've played the, the tennis before, mm -hmm. and just make them, you know, because when they come, they're hiding behind their parents, and you have to be at their level, you know, squat and say something to them, and then you say, look, just try, you just give them a ball, let's see what you can do. Then, of course, they are running and hitting it all over. Mm -hmm. Then you have to bring them to no, you bounce it like this, because it's basics. You bounce the ball down, you can tap it, you know, fast without the racket. And then when they see the racket, they're like, ah, sit to attack you. Then you're like, no, let's start here first, yeah. you know. So just, you just basically put uh, basic activities. Okay. It's mostly bouncing, catching, rolling, throwing, before they can even 
now graduate to the various stages. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. So in all these years that you've been training kids, have you seen some of those that you trained getting into the national team? So many. Wow. Currently I have two players in Togo for the All African Games. Okay. You know, I'm one person who has seen the goodness of God. Uh -huh. All my junior players. If Kenya team has eight players, four are from the foundation what? and from the slum. Yes. Oh, praise God. Yes, they'd be there. Mm -hmm. They are. They have seen the airport more than their parents. They have been inside the plane more than their parents. Mm -hmm. The top ranked tennis player currently under 14, boy and girl are from the foundation. Mm -hmm. Jeff Okuku is number one. Uh, boys 14, Nancy Kawera is number one, girls 14. Wow. And in the past you just have one, two, three, like lined up. And I'm just like, hey, you know, when I started the organization, I was told, what do you think these kids can even do? Because I was inquiring, I said, oh, I want to start something. Then I'm told, what do you think they can do? Then with time they started winning and then there was that thing of, now there's um, more of trying to just push them aside mm -hmm. because now they have shown they can do it. Now there, there's a lot of, there's a, sometimes a lot of discrimination or, no, I'll just put rejection. It's one of the things that uh, now is, has been hitting the ground because now the people who looked like they could not do it, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Now what do we do? We try and, you know, push them. But I've heard from the time from about, we said 2006, 2007, if you look at the records in Tennis Kenya, the kids who used to perform, if you look at some of the pictures I used to put, we'd go to an event with about 40 children. Every child has a trophy. Because when they're on the road and they don't have a trophy, they start, uh, some are crying, some are telling, you know, the So when they already, when an event, they already come with fire because on the road, they start telling each other things, if you don't have a trophy or a medal. So I've had, players going, like, being out there. Nancy and Jeff are just from Togo, and every year they're out of the country at least four times, mm -hmm. every year. Um, Cynthia and Albert are, are currently in Ghana. And then pre the, during the year, there are kids who are in Tanzania. As in, there's time people are going. Cynthia has gone to almost this six, six Billie Jean King, that is the Fed Cup. Mm -hmm. I used to fight to enter the team, but God is using the children that I've trained to just cross into the team. Wow. For me, I'd beg, I'd be there crying. I'd just be hoping that I can carry the coach's bag so that perhaps mm -hmm. I just go in the team, Nipita yes. or but I'm seeing it now in the children that I'm training. Mm -hmm. They are in. For me, I'm just like, hey, me, I have to fight. Now I'm not fighting anymore. Mm -hmm. So in the because of the training and just being patient and trusting what God is telling me, I'm seeing it now. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to be the one going for all of them. Yes. But God has used the children that I'm training to be out there. Wow. So when they're told that they're going for an event, you know, as an organization of the children, before there used to be less, now I have so many children coming. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, I would have about 100, 120 children. And then now you're being told six children are in the team, you need to remove this amount of money for the ticket. You know me, I just tell them, I'm sorry, I don't have. You can't replace my children. Mm. But you know, you cannot replace the key players in the team. Yes. So you know, they have to now decide, do we replace? But you have number ones inside there. The, the, the cream is there. <laughs> so happened on a cast, but you go, you do your part. Me, yeah. I've already trained. I don't have the money for them to go. Yes. Then I, I just leave it at that. And, and you the have children seen God go. coming through. Oh, God has been amazing. Wow. You know, what I'm doing is by the grace of God. This will be my 18th year. Mm -hmm. It has not been easy. You know, walking, sometimes you're hungry, you're tired, you're disappointed, mentally you're drained. The children are coming with all sorts of issues and wanna kurushia. You know, at one time, uh, the traveling part, one parent called me. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're just asking me. Hey, na coach. Sasa, uko jiyo ndege, watu wanashukia wapi? You know, <laughs> God in heaven saw me. Ah, I laughed. I said, hey, Mama Jeff. 
Sasa uko wakishuka sio ataanguka chini. Mm. Then now uh, you see her mind. Yes. Maybe there are stages what is up there. Mm. Then you know I'm laughing and I'm like okay let me explain to you. Mm. You know there are places there are airports the plane need to land. Ndio watu watoke. Mm-hmm. So for me I'm I'm liking the part of apparent wondering what happens up there. Up there. Is it like kama tatu? Simamisha nishuke. Niambie ukishuka tunakuzika. Mm-hmm. So you know you just I just like when I see that. But we have had so many children traveling, mm-hmm. so many so many and earning because when they go if it's uh, like the all African games they are earning. Uh-huh. So if a child is given let me approximate about $2000. Wow. It goes a long way. Yes. So some of this the children the money they have earned I keep them uh-huh. then I take it to I pay their school fees okay. with their money. Okay. Before it be maybe me looking for the money and putting in mm-hmm. but now they are earning it. Mm-hmm. So when they earn we just keep it and I have to tell the parents look this money is for your child to go to at least go to school mm-hmm. because that is one area that is not working very well. Mm-hmm. But tennis has made them go to school. Tennis has made them travel. Tennis has made them get new friends. They go with their trophies when they go to their houses. Ni amatopo lakini vikombe. They're just showing that here is where the anointing is. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, Veronica, any final words? Mm. I, uh, I I would go for Let me just go to the church. Mm-hmm. For me I'll go like uh, out out here we are all uh, like people are surviving. Let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. I've been in a community where there are so many children being abused. There are so many children going through stuff early pregnancies and um, as a church we need to start moving. We need to start moving with speed the best way we can mm-hmm. and how God uh, helps us because we have many mentorship programs going on but the programs are not preaching Christ it is important that we make ourselves as visible as possible mm-hmm. on the ground okay. that we may be able to get some of these children listen the children you know when they are young udongo finyange ungali maji when they are young this is the time to speak to them and if we will wait until a child has matured and nobody has been there you're looking at children who are fatherless orphans motherless some of them have been maybe just raised and they don't know where father is where mother is they're just somewhere mm-hmm. you're looking at kids who don't have any fatherly love motherly love parental and the environment dictates what they have seen is in the environment is what they are doing mm-hmm. so we need to look for a way of um, stepping in yeah as a church like mm-hmm. as a church mm-hmm. like now for me i'm happy that uh, for a church this is the first interview i'm having under sports mm-hmm. that we who are born again and are out there how can we use how can we be of use to serve god in the field mm-hmm because there's a need on the ground. I was just explaining that the Muslim are doing it way better than we are. When I was trying to explain that there's a child who would be at home the whole time in an abusive environment. And this young boy would walk through South B, South C, trying to see where the kid, where he can get help as young as six, six, seven. And he would get refuge at the mosque they would feed the boy and after feeding and the kid is staying here the whole time they teach the child the quran mm-hmm. and just remember they don't get permission from the child's parents it's because the child is in that environment yeah. and it is safe for them and then they're like why can't we preach the god that we we know and you see this is where we for me i feel places that God needs to help us so that we don't have children who genuinely need help seeking help elsewhere while we are there mm-hmm. because maybe say oh this kid maybe ni chokora or what but the kid is in that in the situation because mm-hmm. i just idea mm-hmm. so you're looking at a 7 year old who's telling you how they can swally because 
somebody has taken care of them. Mm -hmm. We need to be down there. We need to be in these sports academies. Mm -hmm. Not all will accept, yeah. but for example, I'm where I am. I know Christ. Then the church knows, at least in tennis, we can get somebody there. I welcome the church there when you have our sessions on Saturdays or during the holiday. And in the process, they can minister to the children. Mm -hmm. If they are not going to church on Sunday, at least we have our church at the tennis courts, yeah. you know, to be able to that one child, yes. we will save a child mm -hmm. because what they're being told in the environment is totally different. They'll get a new face mm -hmm. telling them what they are supposed to tell them. Like for me, they have seen me. Maybe some things I say and they're like, ah, coach Vero to Memzoya. You will come in and you just say something like this and it saves them from whatever they're doing. Maybe somebody in church is good at education, they can come and teach a child something. Maybe they're good at uh, storytelling. Mm -hmm. Then you can use uh, Bible stories to just bring the children in yeah. and also encourage them to go to, uh, to school. Mm -hmm. I've been in my environment for so long. And what, what are the obvious things that uh, you see is, even after a child is mentored, they still go back to the vices that are in the community, uh, majority. Yeah. It troubles me because I'm like, you have not seen me, you have not seen any change in me that you guys can tap into. But you see, what is the environment saying? Mm -hmm. What are the strongholds that are there that are making them go back? Like, you have a child, they've been doing well, they're exposed, and one day you wake up, they're pregnant. You're trying to ask them, hey, what? Ato mengi andege, umefanya nini? But you still can go that route. But that is what the environment says. So we have to go on the ground, minister Christ, mm -hmm. take advantage of sports is a discipline. Okay. Yeah. And when those children are there, they will come. And from there, you're able to say, what you have. we should not be afraid to minister Christ. Okay. We shouldn't. We shouldn't let other people do it because we feel the only time we need to do something is when we're in church. Mm -hmm. Out there, they need us. Technology is showing us that it's robbed our children you know, you're in church, mm -hmm. what irritates me most? You're in church and you'll just see still a child on a phone next to the parent. Mm -hmm. Not trying to put the, to switch off the phone even if the child will cry because we are saying a fatherly azubai and ai, but not something that uh, represents Christ. So we just need to be out there. We need to, in my organization, personally I'm open because I try to have mentorship for these children. Okay. But, uh, Sometimes it's not working because you're also getting still younger people coming in. Mm -hmm. They still have their own issues here and there. The church can come in. Mm -hmm. We have a session with the children, speak to them. Education, they're struggling. They don't believe that uh, they're supposed to do well in education. According to them, the somebody who gets an A and another one gets a D, and the person who gets a D is the one who's excelling. So why are they getting the A grade? Mm -hmm. So how do we use the word of God to tell them that they're intelligent, that they're created in God's image. Mm -hmm. Their creator is intelligent, mm -hmm. so there's no way they can be any less. It's only when we come in, you play your tennis, they play their tennis, they laugh a bit, and then as they understand who you are, now you sit and you know God likes when you do this. Yeah. If now you're cheating, does God like cheating? No. Mm -hmm. Then you, you start getting through it. For the mentorship that you've had, we're not able to, uh, let's say, just sink through because uh, the, the people you bring maybe also come with their own issues. They're not able to address the issues that are there. Uh -huh. And also to just make children, these children know that being in the slum does not m make them less of yes, human beings. Humans, yes. We need to see them like smart. Somebody can be maybe branding things here and just say, you know, I want to get blessed. Mm three children at Zion. So you know when they're walking on the street, they're looking, they're not looking like the slum. Yeah. They're looking anointed. Yes. So we just need to be out there. Let's not think that if Vero is doing this, then I'm going to say idea too. You know God uses people. And come alongside. Yes, yes, to come alongside and help. Okay. So my desire would be for us guys to really be active on the ground. Okay. What is it that you can do? You don't need it doesn't have to be necessarily money. Mm -hmm. But also we don't have to wait. I've seen if you're dealing with Indians and you have a need financially, they, normally they don't have an excuse. 
they help. Uh -huh. If they're not able to give money, they'll give. They will not say, oh, God will help you. But how does God help? They'll give you what they have. And then from the end, I was asking myself, why is it that Indians, majority don't believe in God? When you go to their homes or to Sanamo, Lakini, they are blessed. You know they are giving, mm -hmm. they are givers. If there's a need here, they give. you see God, God is a God of his word. Mm -hmm. If you are a giver, he will bless you. Mm -hmm. If you hold back. You. So for me, we have to go out there. All Let's right. go get it. Let's encourage our children to be in sports. Let's support them. Mm -hmm. Let's use that avenue to preach. That one day God asks us, Vero, you are in this in tennis, what did you tell the children? Mm -hmm. I would not be like I was afraid because if I say the Bible, the word, they, they'll walk away. Yes. I would just say like one just example to just um, summarize. I, had, uh, I was partnering with a certain organization mm -hmm. and uh, one of the politicians talked about homosexuality. And my program manager commented and said, this, this cannot be allowed. Now the partner saw it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'm not on Twitter. So once the, the new partner read it, called me and said, uh, Vera, I'd like to talk to you and I want your opinion on homosexuality. I told her without blinking that for me, my Bible does not preach homosexuality. Mm -hmm. And I would never allow any person or any organization to come and bring that kind of spirit in my organization. Yeah. And I told her, from the time I grew up, there's no time I was told woman to woman, man to man. So if somebody can convince me that there was such, and I grew up and it was there, then that would be fine. And when I look at my Bible, it's an abomination. Mm -hmm. So I told her, to be honest, on my part, I will never allow even funding that comes from that direction. I'd rather miss the funding, mm -hmm. but don't allow the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, imagine you agree and then there are people working, you know, in my organization because I've called the spirit. Then she's like, no, you know, your workmate said this. I said, yes. He said it was his opinion. Mm -hmm. But now you're saying it is Zion's opinion. But because you've called me, I am very clear. Mm -hmm. And if this would make me lose things, then so be it. So they were supposed to come to do a training with our teens. Mm -hmm. And then we signed, we had an, an MOU already, it had been sent. I was called that evening. I was told the meeting they were coming to do with me is canceled. Mm -hmm. Then the following day, there was an email that the MOU that <clears throat> we had with you people nullified that we are not of the same. We cannot work together because yeah. our ideologies are different. Yes. Did I lose? Yes, I lost a partner. Mm -hmm. But in the kingdom of God, I fought for the right thing. Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is very, very brave. Mm. And we thank God for people like you. Yeah. yeah. Before I invite Veronica to pray, you have heard her. She would like us, the church, to partner with her in what she is doing. So we're going to put a link to her website, the Zion Zone website, so that you can reach out to her and see what you can give. Maybe you're a mentor. Maybe you're a career coach. Maybe you're on diet. You can partner with her and help these children that she's um, dealing with. Or you want to give financially. I mean, she lost money because she refused homosexuality. Do you have money that you want to give into this program? Just comment there or contact her directly from her website. Now, Veronica, as we come to a close, I'd like you to pray for a few people. Number one, I'd like you to pray for someone who is following their talent and they, you, you remember what you were feeling that time when you got sick, when you had decided you, you are done with tennis. Mm. I want you to pray for such a person who is discouraged because there are roadblocks in, pursue, in them pursuing their, their vision or their talent. Pray for that person. I also want you to pray for parents. Parents to be able to release their children to follow their talents, to follow what God is speaking to them. And finally, I want you to pray for the church, that the church is going to see the need mm. and they're going to carry that burden and want to be involved. Okay. Yes. 
I'll pray, but I'll also comment on parents about education. Uh -huh. That one of the areas uh, I've really been fighting is that area of education, where you want your child to read Monday to Sunday or Monday to Saturday, and you're not giving them that chance. So I'm just telling the parents, there's time for everything. Mm -hmm. There's time for your child to go through, read. Not everybody will get an A. You need to give your child another, uh, what is it? I always say there's plan A, plan B, plan C. So if education doesn't work for your child, what else is here? Mm -hmm. The reason why we are losing this generation is everything is about reading, reading, reading. So when a child fails to achieve, they get so disappointment and they don't have backup. For me, my backup was sports, was actually tennis. I passed, I didn't fail, I passed. But now what is putting food on my table is sports. I'm not in the leather seats that my mom wanted, but those children are my leather seats. But just give a child another plan. Don't think that your, inher your inheritance is everything. And also don't put um, education as the A and the Z. Give them another platform where they can do something else and make their life better. So let's pray. And I'll pray as God leads me. Uh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be here, Lord. It has been because of your love and your mercy, my Father, God, Lord Jesus. It's not an opportunity, Jehovah God, that I deserve, my Father, but you saw it fit that I should be here at the Hekima Center, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you first for the leadership of this church in the name of Jesus, for opening this uh, opportunity, my Father, God, Lord Jesus, under sports. And yes, sports is a ministry, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. Father, we are out there as your servants, King of glory, Lord Jesus, to represent you, Holy Spirit of God, Lord Jesus, in our uh, various uh, activities, be it tennis, be it rugby, be it football, be it hockey, my Father, all the sports, Lord, that we are not supposed to be out there to be quiet while other people are coming in, in and speaking about their God, that we need to be vocal and speak boldly about our God, my Father, because, Father, you're the Alpha and the Omega. There is no God uh, besides you, and there will never be God like you, my Father, God, Lord Jesus. Today, I pray, my Father, God, Lord Jesus, for... Uh, those who are in uh, their various sports, they are talented, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. and they are being swayed um, to other directions because maybe they're being told there's no money enough, Jehovah God, they're being told they are wasting time, Holy Spirit of God, Lord Jesus, they're being told that they have to be in an office somewhere, my Father God, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, even when they come for training consistently, somebody else is just coming and passing them or getting the opportunity that they have not worked hard for lord father i pray king of glory for your intervention jehovah god lord jesus financially that they may be able to access the sports facility holy spirit of god i also pray that they may get the equipment that they need in the name of jesus be the uniform be the shoes you know whatever will make them be good at their sport lord jesus we are asking you to provide to open that door in the name of jesus if they are the facility and the facility has to be paid lord we just pray father that you put your gatekeeper there who will tell them just walk in and play walk in and play lord mm -hmm. that father god i am a living testimony lord that i didn't have money yet years back i'm here my father god testifying that i played a sport that i could not afford because lord you put people in my pathway jehovah god you opened doors mm -hmm. that no man could open jehovah god mm -hmm. that even when there was discouragement jehovah god you stood by me in the name of jesus mm -hmm. you kept on giving me one more chance lord and one more chance and another chance lord even when i was weak and i didn't deserve it jehovah god there's a young man there's a young lady my father Father God, Lord Jesus, there's also a parent who's just wondering, should my child go this way or stay this way? Mm. Mighty King, oh God. That sports is not wrong, Lord. Father, why did you give us talents, Jehovah God, to explore them, my Father God, Lord Jesus, that we may use them to the glory and honor of your name, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for those who have been pushed to drugs, so that uh, to doping so that they can do better, my Father God, because of pressure. Today, we stand against that addiction, we stand against the lies mm. of the enemy that they have to use drugs to be better, Lord. They can train well, eat well, my Father God, Lord Jesus, uh, sleep, have good rest, my Father God, Lord Jesus, and 
be better people as what they are doing, be better sports people, my Father God. For Father, cheating is not in your kingdom, Jehovah God, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. We pray for them wherever they are, my Father God. We encourage them, my Father God. We hide them under the precious blood of Jesus. We ask you, Holy Spirit of God, Lord, to minister to them, Lord. Mm -hmm. And my father, even as I'm praying, Father, I feel there's a young lady who's just been sleeping and saying, I'm not going there again. I'm not going there again. Father, I pray for this young lady, wherever she is, my father, that she will rise up this day and go to that field, Lord, and swing that hockey stick like she's never done it before, Jehovah God. Because, Father, you have an opportunity and a destiny for her uh, in this spot in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm praying for the parents, Lord. Father, you know, we are to obey our parents. Mm. We are to do what they require us to do, Lord Jesus. Mm. But sometimes, Father, we know the decision is made as per what is currently going on, Lord. Mm. But Lord, you're the only one who knows uh, the now. You're, you know the future, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. Mm. And if this child is being blocked, my father God, to go for training, uh, my father, whether sometimes, maybe one time those are uh, a loss made by a child drowned in the swimming pool and the parent got scared and said no more to this my father God first of all we pray uh, we stand against fear mm. from the parents who have had gone through those experiences of drowning mm. or uh, an injury that has um, rendered their child helpless my father God or just inactive Jehovah God we pray for them because father you understand what they went through will mm. never understand mm. But uh, in general, Lord, we pray for them that they will see through these talents that you've given their children, my Father God. Not only in sports, Lord, if a child can sing, my Father God, mm. they should be put at a place where they can sing, my Father God, Lord Jesus. Mm. That um, everything will not be uh, just education and education, my Father God. That you will enlighten uh, their spirits, my Father God, to see exactly what you want to do with the child mm -hmm. in their various um, uh, talents, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. We we ask you, my Father God, to intervene mightily, Lord, to provide the resources that are needed in the name of Jesus, and to also uh, make them get the clubs that they want the children to go where they are God-fearing men mm -hmm. and, and women, my Father God, who will uh, take these children to the next level without uh, taking advantage of them, Lord. Mm -hmm. But Father, right now the environment is so hostile, my Father God. We know that the enemy is at work, my Father. We know that he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy Jehovah. Father God, Lord mm. Jesus. And today we are standing for our parents, my Father God, Lord Jesus, mm. even when they don't understand King of Glory. Mm. This day there are so many uh, youths, there are so many uh, children out there, my Father God, Lord Jesus, especially my Father God, Lord Jesus, in the first world countries, Lord, who are earning well, my Father God, and supporting their parents through sports, Lord. That in those areas and in those countries, they have embraced what talent is, my Father God. Mm. We pray that the same will come to our nation, my Father God, that our parents will see, they'll watch TV and just have some of those life-changing stories of our sports people, Lord. Mm -hmm. But Father, if they, 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 they can just see, Lord, mm -hmm. my life, Lord, and what you did for me to this day, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Lord, if they can currently Lord, see what has happened to uh, Ferdinand Omanyala, Lord. A young man who was a nobody, is a no, is a, as is somebody now, he's superior, he's in contracts, mm -hmm. he's in deals to the glory and honor of your name, Lord. We pray that our parents will be, um, we just be enlightened, Lord. We pray for our grace, Lord, that you'll be the right places, not places that uh, have hurt them or their children have been wounded, Lord. Mm. And Father, I also thank you for the church, Lord, mm. that we are here to minister to your people regardless of uh, their background, mm. Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. That the church will not be uh, at the forefront, my Father God, Lord Jesus, to to reject or to shun people based on, on what they believe, Jehovah God. Mm. That our work is to stand in my Father God, Lord Jesus, mm. and to ask for your help, Lord, that at the church, this is not the place where we are supposed to chase away a child mm. because of um, uh, what, what they are into, my Father God, Lord Jesus. That even Jehovah God in their mistakes, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, they will be ministered to end 
Holy Spirit of God, mm -hmm. you will do what you need to do in their lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus. That, Father, we will not miss an opportunity to stand in the gap, my Father God, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. and wait for others to come in, and then we are always either the second or the last to run there, my Father God, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. That, Father, as we pray, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, as you intercede for us, Jehovah God, mm -hmm. that we will do the right thing yes, as a church, Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray for pastors, we pray for bishops. We pray, my Father God, for uh, the team, the teams that work in churches, Jehovah God, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. That Father, we will represent you in church and outside the church, we will represent you, Lord. That Father will not be somebody else in church and outside, we are also different. That Father, we are not going to have two personalities, Lord as uh, your children, my Father God, Lord Jesus, that mm -hmm. we'll aspire to be holy because, Jehovah God, you are holy mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And, Father God, that we'll also not be condemned King of glory, Lord Jesus, that we will be quick, my Father God, to repent, Lord Jesus, to ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. that as an institution, we need to be on the forefront, my Father God, Lord Jesus, praying, my Father God, and seeking your mercy, Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Forgive us, my Father, God as a church where we have failed you in the name of Jesus where my father God you have watched things happening and we are not intervening Lord we are not spending time fasting praying my father God in the closet and just say God have mercy on us Lord that father we are not going to walk on the streets righteous my father God Lord Jesus because we know we have all fallen short of your glory, mm -hmm. Jehovah God, Lord Jesus. Today, today the church is in your hands, mm -hmm. Jehovah God, Lord Jesus, pleading for your mercy, pleading for your protection, Jehovah God. Father, may everything glorify your name mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Lord, I want to bless you again for Hakima Center, Lord, for this opportunity, my Father God, to be here. You remain to be God who is faithful in the name of Jesus. Hide us under the blood, blood of Jesus and thank you Holy Spirit of God that you never fail and you will never fail. Mm -hmm. I bless you Lord for your goodness. I bless you for your mercy in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord thank you, you. Amen. And he shine his face upon you. Amen. Amen. Till next time, this is Faith Dialogues. <laughs>